I went to school in the 1960s, graduated, got a master's degree and PhD in geology during a time when there was this uh, reticence to believe in catastrophic process. You found resistance? Re and resistance. But over the years, that's changed enormously. And uh, professors that usually question my way of thinking have now come alongside of my way of thinking. And people who once, um, what would you say, um, dismissed me, now learn to tolerate me or even encouraging me. And why are they doing that now? What's making that change? The whole field of geology is becoming more softened uh, to uh, catastrophist thinking. Is and that because you're a very persuasive person or is there something else, which you no, are, no, is something else going on? No, it's, it's, the, uh, it's the earth, the real earth. And when you think outside the box, you, uh, uh, and, and, and with this line of thinking, you become productive. Okay, and it's kind of bland and boring geology, thinking about only the present, forming some things around us. But when you start looking at the whole group of features that could be possible for forming layers like we see here, then people not only tolerate me, they encourage and, and encourage me to do my best work.